Okay. Um, and so then, like, I, I went back to bed after the, okay, so hold on. At 3 a.m., by 3 a.m., it was like 2.50. By 3, around then, I got up and went in there. And the TV was blasting and turning itself up and down and stuff. So I, I presume the person's in there. And um, I went back to bed, which I didn't crawl. So these creeps with their police surveillance, the cops and fire department do this shit. I know. Um, feds, yeah. It was a really, uh, I've limited vocabulary, a really bad overthrow attempt by morons. Yeah. So um, I went back to bed and I was pretty freaked out. I wanted to get more sleep, but I couldn't because it's too traumatizing. I don't need to explain this. So I laid there as long as I could, which was about half an hour. And then I got back up. Maybe it was an hour. It was a considerable amount of time. And then I went back into that extra room. And at that point, the TV was going on as always a few minutes after I was in there at a moderate volume. It's loud though, but not amphitheater and going up and down. So they're still here. Now about the floors, I can't talk about them, can't film them. Uh, last night, I can't even talk about anything about it. Now I'm being limited, limited to only being able to talk about that room upstairs, which gives me plenty. Now that's when I can, because over half the time I can't. But that gives me plenty because most, to my knowledge, of the homicides occur up there. But I wouldn't say that because a lot of them take place on floor one. I also wouldn't say that this chemical weapon system is exactly like I say it is. Or I, I, I say that it is because that's what I believe. I'm having trouble with my English skills. <clears throat> I only know 37% of what the fuck shit is here. Excuse my language. I have no idea what's going on here. There's screaming, roaring mufflers here. The phone doesn't pick them up. Um, but back to my point. So, um, I give up, okay? I give up trying to understand what the fuck they put in this house, but it's really, really uh, bad. It's really, really big deal. Really, really bad. And they had uh, psychotics who are criminally insane, running and going around and around and around and around in a house. I do know this much. Um, for a very long time, they protected the criminally insane who were running around and around this very, very bad military equipment. Um, and so what we have right now is the criminally insane who are protected to go around and around and around and around and commit crime. Heinous crimes, they're criminally insane, okay? Heinous violent crime. Um these criminally insane subjects and individuals are convinced they're taking over the United States of America. Okay? And that's what I do know. I, I know nothing about this fucking military shit here. Bye.